Hey everyone, it's Sarah here, founder of the Sisters Enchanted. I am coming at you with a really quick impromptu chat about Yule and Samhain and New Year's Eve and the Witch's New Year, what the heck is it? So somebody um, asked me a question about Yule. Uh, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to answer this in a video because I think a lot of people probably have this question. Remember if you're watching this live, it says live on the screen. And if you're watching it on the replay, it does not say live. So we have uh, this idea of the witch's new year, which we hear at Samhain, right? Which is Halloween, our modern Halloween Samhain. Um, and then we have Yule, which marks the coming back of the sun. Uh, and then we have actual New Year's Eve. Um, so what do we do? What's the, what, what, what should we do for, for New Year's? Um, and also I think this, uh, in our Enchanted Journey class, we've been talking about making your own uh, practice, creating your own practice, which by the way, I'm closing up signups today on that. So if you want to join us, come join us. Uh, Any, anyway, that's not why I'm here to chat though. Uh, so we have all these New Year's Eve situations or like New Year situations. Uh, so let's talk about these a little bit. So Samhain is known as the Witch's New Year because it marks the beginning of the dark half of the year. So that is um, an equinox. So an equinox, we have an equal time of, of light and dark in our day. So this is thought to be the Witch's New Year because after Samhain, after that equinox, the days are, the dark is longer than the light for the day, right? So we move into darkness. Let's, it's a point of, of death. We put some things to an end and we move into the darkness. So this is thought to be the witch's new year um, because we are moving into this new part of the cycle, right? We are shifting from longer light to more dark. Um, so Samhain is known as the witch's new year. This comes um, from the modern Wicca take on the Celtic Wheel of the Year. So the Wheel of the Year is something that is actually a modern construct. Um, there is not like historical evidence of you know, an actual wheel of the year with dates on it like we have now. So we take all of these uh, ancient Celtic traditions and we have put dates on them to make them fit into our modern society. So there is evidence of all of these different kind of festivals and celebrations, but we have put them together with dates on it uh, the way that we see them now. So we have Samhain, which is known as the Witch's New Year. And again, that comes from kind of a combination of, um, and if you're here, you can say hi too. I see just a few people watching. A combination of modern uh, Wicca tradition and ancient Celt Celtic tradition. So then we also have Lunar Samhain, which really throws a wrench in there. <laughs> so Lunar Samhain, hi Susan. So Lunar Samhain comes a little bit, uh, it's the full moon. I'm um, typically kind of, it can land before Samhain, can land after Samhain. It's, it's hard to kind of uh, explain quickly, but there's also Lunar Samhain, which can be said to be the Witch's New Year also. So Lunar Samhain is probably what would have really been celebrated as the um, move, as the change into darkness um, by ancient Celts because we didn't see, um, okay, hello everyone. We didn't see the modern calendar that we have now, right? So these festivals and whatnot were celebrated by uh, the seasons and what was happening in the sky. So Lunar Samhain, while well, we celebrate Samhain on the 31st until the November 1st, Lunar Samhain was probably when ancient kind of Samhain was celebrated. So then we have that also. Then we have Yule. So there is an argument that Yule should really be the witch's new year, not Samhain, um, because Yule marks the coming back of the sun. So this is what's really fascinating when we look at uh, different cultures and religions, with our modern Christmas, right, in Christianity, we're celebrating the birth of the sun, of the S-O-N, the sun, right, birth of Jesus. Well, here, we are celebrating on Yule, on uh, midwinter, on the winter solstice, we are celebrating the birth of the sun, S-U-N. Ta-da! 
Um, so really, when we, we see all these connections across culture, so whether you're celebrating traditional Christmas, you're celebrating Yule, whatever you're celebrating Yule, you want to celebrate Yule, your family celebrates Christmas, we're all celebrating birth, the birth of something. We all have that in common here. Um, so we have the birth of the sun, S-U-N, for us here for the winter solstice, uh, Yule, which is tomorrow. So Yule marks the day when we, it's our longest night, right? And then from that longest night, the most darkness of the, the most, the lo most dark of a day, what am I trying to say? There's, it's the darkest day. We move back into where the sun, the days start to be lighter again, right? More sun, the birth of the sun. So there is the argument that Yule should actually be the witch's new year because, you know, we're moving back into the light, Right? So there is that. So I think that there is um, a a uh, kind of a, a movement, or I don't want to say a movement, there's probably like a grouping of people kind of that follow uh, either a pagan tradition or loosely follow a pagan tradition, um, or people that don't identify as pagan but follow um, seasonality and more nature-based spirituality of their own without putting a name on it that maybe count Yule as more of the new year. And then we have actual New Year's Eve, which is our Gregorian calendar, right? Uh, January 1st, which is definitely something that we have created. <laughs> that is a man-made thing. We've created that calendar on those dates, right? So we have Samhain, Lunar Samhain, Yule, and actual New Year. <laughs> Eve um, per the standard calendar that can all be looked at as your new year time. So what's a witch to do? Uh, you can choose whatever feels really good for you uh, to follow. Like I said, we've been talking about creating our own path over in our Enchanted Journey class and I almost did this chat in there and then I thought I'm going to share it with everybody in the Sisters Enchanted community because it's good information, right? So what are you, what, 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 what should you do? What should be your new year? Um, whatever works for you is always my answer. So if you really feel called to bringing in, you know, the celebrating the darkness and the the death of life as we move into, uh, you know, the autumn equinox, then Samhain. Samhain would be a great time to celebrate New Year. Um, if you are, you know, I, the more that I kind of work with seasonality and maybe it's because of where I am in life, but having... You know, now I have a child that's old enough to talk to me and understand things. And we talk a lot about what's happening on the earth and the moon and the seasons and whatnot. You know, it really speaks to me right now to look at Yule as um, more of a new year time for me personally. So, you know, whatever works well for you. But there is definitely, can you can look at Yule tomorrow as kind of a new year event. And what's really cool is with this darkness and then the birthing of the light, we have some time to reflect, which is what we do a lot on, you know, we people do on New Year's Eve, right? Modern society or uh, mainstream society, that's what we do on New Year's Eve. We think back on the year past, we set resolutions for the year ahead. Well, with Yule, with this darkness, we have this extended dark period, we can look at all that has come for us and dive into our shadow selves. So there's been a lot of talk lately about shadow work, um, kind of questions about it in different sisters enchanted groups and whatnot. Um, so this is a really good time to look and see, well, what about me can I work on? What can I release? What has got me here? What hasn't served me? Um, what is my dark stuff? And then remember that there is always light. We're giving birth to the sun. Uh, so sun deities, sun gods are amazing to work with right now and to kind of pay homage to or think about on that energy, whatever it is that you do uh, in terms of something like that. But uh, so do, you can definitely use this time to do some inner reflective stuff. Like what's my dark stuff and how can I give birth to more light stuff about myself, right? How can I birth more of my light side uh, into, into the world to balance out the dark stuff? Because the dark stuff that we all carry around with us can be the stuff that uh, overwhelms our life. Um, so we all have things that we deal with and, uh, you know, so if we can take this dark stuff that tends to hold us back in some area and say, how can I birth some light into that? That can be really, you know, amazing to do right now also. Hello everyone. So yeah, so we have, again, 
um, Samhain, Lunar Samhain, Yule, New Year's Eve. I, I always say that the amazing thing about practicing a nature-based religion, a, a, a more new age, Wicca, pagan, witchy, woo-woo, whatever you want to call it, whatever, if you are a, a uh, Christian witch, whatever you call yourself here, there's so many different paths in this group, and I think that's amazing. The one thing I think that's a really cool thing about being on this road is that we get to celebrate really everything because because, oh, there's a fly in here. Um, because no matter what, we do live in mainstream society, right? So we probably have family members that are celebrating the typical traditions, which I celebrate as well. We have, you know, Christmas and, and Easter and all that good stuff. But we also then get to celebrate Yule and Ostara. And so it's like we get, we get double the fun because <laughs> we celebrate everything. So whatever you choose to be your new year, I suppose if you're in this group, you get a couple takes at it. <laughs> So you try, try again. But so, yeah, that's the different kind of ways to look at things. So remember with Yule right now, we are giving birth to the sun, which is really cool because uh, that's what Christmas does as well. But we look at Christmas as giving birth to the, the sun, S-O-N, right? Um, Jesus, where we're giving birth to the sun, S-U-N. Uh, but same, same themes there. So, yeah. So what, I don't know. If you guys watch this on the replay, I'd love to hear what, feels good for you to be more of your New Year celebration, Samhain or Yule. So Samhain, like I said, is uh, if you is typically the witch's New Year, but I think there is a solid argument to be had for making Yule the witch's New Year. Uh, so I would love to hear, you know, what you guys think. Anyway, thought I'd come and share as I was uh, setting up a little Yule altar centerpiece thing on my kitchen table getting ready for our dining table, getting ready for Yule. And we're gonna bake a cake tomorrow and play some family games, hopefully. And, um, you know, see if we can't get outside to go for a walk, you know, in the darkness. And a really cool thing too, if you can, is to stay awake for the dark and greet the sun as well. Um, I have small kids, so I'm up to greet the sun every day. <laughs> Nothing new there. Um, so Amanda says Yule for her. Yeah, I really feel called um, at, right now to feel like Yule is more of a New Year's celebration. And again, one of the ways to celebrate is to stay up all night and watch the sunrise. Uh, and, you know, the birth of the sun again, which um, is, you know, what we do on New Year's Eve, right? We stay up for midnight. So, Victoria, it's on Friday. Our nature walk is on Friday. Uh, you know, my kids, are, we're doing a... Um, at their nature school that they go to in the fall and the spring. Um, my nephew and my daughter were doing a winter solstice event. We're gonna make lanterns and carry our lanterns in the dark to a fire pit and sit around and have some hot beverages around the fire. So very winter solstice-y. Yeah, so, and the other Amanda also agrees with Yule. Yeah, I'm feeling Yule as the witch's new year. But technically, it's Samhain. And I guess really technically, it's Lunar Samhain. <laughs> so there you go. So many options. All right, that's it. I'm going to jet. Uh, I just wanted to come and say hello and share these thoughts with all of you because uh, someone asked me the question and I thought to myself, I'm going to make a video answer to this question. All right, so I hope you guys all have a fantastic Yule. Uh, feel free to share in the group your what you're doing and, you know, think on it. What's your New Year's? Uh, lunar Samhain? Samhain? Yule? What's it for you? And, and let us know. All right. Hi, Alicia. I'm leaving, though. <laughs> all right, I hope you guys all have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Bye.